Kilifi County is one of the coastal counties where education is still a challenge despite government devolution meant to make it accessible to every Kenyan. I spent a night at Galaxy Hotel in Mtuapa. In a quest for the real situation on the ground, I head to Kikambala village. It is 16 kilometers to Bodoe stage from Mtuapa and another 5.3 kilometers that leads to Kikambala village. I alight at Bodoe stage that leads to Kikambala village. Boda borders are the common means to get there. The pupils are in a rush to beat the morning breeze. It takes me 30 minutes to get to Mwembetsungu Primary School. Sadly, most of these pupils cannot afford the Boda Boda charges and thus have to walk. Mwembetsungu Primary School in Junju sub location caters for 302 pupils, 142 boys and 160 girls. Despite the inability of most of these pupils to afford shoes, the zeal for education can be seen in the way they carry themselves around the school. The rule is that every student must come to school with a broom with which they clean their classes and the environment before the teacher arrives and a log of wood to be used in preparing lunch for them. Owning a uniform is now not a rule at Mwembetsungu Primary School. Not every parent seems to afford this factor. This is in a class four class where today morning students have a science paper. Now remember these are students who have come to school barefoot, they lack sweaters and a lot of things. Maybe some of them haven't even had breakfast. But these students are ready to learn. Most of them are here today. You can hear how they look so fit, you know. And it's all because they are fighting for their rights. They want education despite everything that they face with. Once exams are finished, a chorus to give thanks is necessary. Classes are vended for the morning. There are some students who are coming in the afternoon, and most of them are going for lunch now. But what is still, what I'm still wondering about is why students are sharing classes. It just doesn't make sense. How can a teacher teach class one while class two are in class? It doesn't make sense. I mean, how does that even work? So I'm going to try and find out to the headmaster so that he can explain to me that and other things as well so that I can just understand what usually happens. In fact, uh, before the donors uh, uh, came, mm -hmm. uh, children used to learn under trees, under trees sitting on logs and stones. Absolutely. Yeah, so you know our school is nearer to the beach, mm -hmm. so we, we have some beach balls around here. Mm -hmm. So when they go uh, down to, uh, at the beach there, they normally get those wazungs and they, they take them around the, the schools. Mm -hmm. So it happened, one of the beach boys from within here brought the wazungu. Okay. 
Okay. So they saw the situation and they really, yes, they were really touched. Mm -hmm. So they de decided to come in. So uh, as at now we have uh, more than enough desks okay. and the, the classrooms uh, are enough. The food education program is a reprieve for the students, but it is still a task on the school. The food program yes. is on right now, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't think if it is there to, to stay, because it, it used not to, to, not to be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it only started last term. So we informed that there was food that was brought at the uh, subcount director's office. So we went to collect the food. Mm -hmm. So the food is brought there, and then the school has to make its own ar ar arrangements in terms of transport. And furthermore, when we go there, uh, you have to pay what they call offloading, uh, offloading fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to look for money, we pay the offloading fee, and, uh, and then we look for transport. We transport the food to school. And uh, early this term, mm -hmm. the program did not uh, start early now because uh, the, the cooks eh, had some balances yes. for last for last time. Mm -hmm. So we had to, again to call the parents and uh, inform them. Especially um, we had challenges on the uh, sufurias. The owners of the sufurias uh, also had uh, some amount to be cleared. In fact, they came for the sufurias and they refused. You had to borrow the sufurias? Actually, we paid them. One sufuria, we are paying 100 bob per day. Okay. And we had uh, hired four sufriers, mm -hmm. so making a total of 400 yeah. per day. Yeah. And we, we are paying the two cooks 500 per, per day, so making a total of 1,000. Oh, yeah. yeah, because it is a very challenging job. Each student brings 10 shillings for the meal, despite it supposed to be free. A fee that some do not even afford. The cultural lifestyle here knows no age. Mary, not her real name, is a 17-year-old class 8 student who recently discovered she is pregnant. mama <laughs> pesa. Kanipa alafa kanambia kama anataka pesa ya chochote ni lale nae. 68% of the population in Kilifi County live below the poverty line. A clear plight being faced in the students' fight for education is poverty. The head teacher takes me around the village to get a perspective of a parent and how she manages to ensure her child acquires the key to success. And they are only parents. They don't have a father. It is usually a big challenge to pay for Most times, I cannot even afford the 10 shillings for them. It is a big problem educating my children. I leave the village to get the perspective of the county director of education. session of early marriages, you see, this sub-county is in a wealthy to area, like Mubak, where we have a lot of hotels, a lot of foreigners living here. These other cultures have changed this. Students will resort to anything, they can be foreign specialists in other schools. These are the challenges we have here. So, the only methods that can be used to control the problem of uh, tourism effect, uh, beach boys, quarry, and then uh, Commercial sex, yes, yes, yes. commercial sex, and then uh, early marriages. The only way is to control and give this student strict boarding schools. Mm -hmm. For example, in my county, I don't have any boarding school. All the schools, secondary schools, are there. There are no boarding schools. There are no boarding mm -hmm. schools. And uh, although we have challenges of now riots in the schools, boarding schools, from my observation, from my education point of view, as an expert. Boarding school can help very much, especially the girl child. When they get a quality boarding school, there'll be no more child that is managed and enough teachers in those schools and enough resources.
As the sun sets and night comes, the pupils desire the light and key that education offers. It is slowly illuminating and it keeps on flickering. Take the chance, no matter where you go.